we're facing Doggy Darko uh, with Eveltal for, not Eveltal, with Grimmsnarl for screens and Rotom Heat, which is kind of interesting. I actually really like the Zygarde in this matchup, but it's going to be very difficult to get set up. I have to apply quite a bit of pressure in the early game to get it to work, um, but I, I think I have to make it my Dynamax target if I want to win. Uh, let's do this. I don't think I need the Tapu Fini in this game. Not necessarily. Uh, I could do this. And like, this wouldn't be bad at all. I kind of feel like I need to bring the Venusaur, but I also need Sun for it to really do anything. So I'm going to go Finny. I think I do bring Finny now. Dude, if, if they reworked Behemoth Bash to just be body press, Zamazenta would be good. Like Steel type 100 base power body press. It'd be good. It's just how it is. Okay, I'm pretty happy with my lead. Uh, Zacian, like, runs Protect Standard, so I'm going to say he's not going to go for it here. And I would like to remove a Venusaur. So I'm cool with just Electroweb plus Behemoth Blade. 69 viewers. Hell yeah. It takes quite a bit of investment for Venusaur to live a Behemoth Blade. AV non crownization is the play. I believe it. <laughs> I don't, but <laughs> that'd be insane. Someone decided to run that. I mean, it's got decent special defense, doesn't it? I think so. Withdraws the Venusaur. Wrote him? Yeah. That makes sense. Well, let's see if the Zacian protects. Goes for... He doesn't protect at all. That's kind of fine. Because I still get decent damage off. Let's see if he substitutes. Actually, now that I think about it, I should always be prioritizing Zacian. Zacian's like the only answer to my Zygarde in the back. Substitute? Okay, that's fine. I think here, I like always have to go for this. Uh, yeah, protect. Position's always going to be slow. And if he goes for um, a max flare, like I'm fine, or an overheat or whatever. Yeah, no, that's cool with me. That's cool with me. Because next turn I can KO him. And then this game gets a little bit easier. Overheat, that's fine. Awesome. Poggers, in fact. Poggers, even. Bolt Switch, Behemoth Blade. He has to get rid of something this turn. Like, nothing takes this combination of moves, so he's stuck. The thing is, um, once both of our Zacians are gone, because we're both losing a Zacian this turn, I'm just going to put that right out there. Uh, we're both losing our Zacians this turn. I am at an advantage in that in that game state. Because my Eveltal, or because his Eveltal doesn't beat, um, his Eveltal doesn't beat the Zygarde I have in the back, like ever. I can actually go for it right now. And there's also no Intimidators, which is great. 
Yeah, Vine Lash is bad for Zygarde, but not if I Dynamax it and get my, my Finny on the field. And also, there's a chance they could miss here. Yep. Oh, you went into... Okay. Yo? Yo? No, nah, no, nah, I'm in a good spot now. I, I feel good about this. I feel pretty good about this. Here's the Venusaur, yeah. Uh, so here's the thing. I, like, don't switch anything. I stay in here with my Zacian. And I just Thousand Arrows. I don't even have to, like, protect. You know, because both of my Pokemon in the back are good in this in this matchup. Um, Venusaur could protect, obviously, but I live the overheat from the Rotom at this range because I have so much special defense. I could opt to go for a substitute, but I'd rather just try to get rid of Venusaur here. Yeah, there's the withdrawal. Run Aura Break just to show the Evelta who's boss. That'd be hilarious. Let's see if it does protect. I don't think it does, because you wouldn't Dynamax then. Because nothing... There's no reason to Dynamax and Max Guard here. It'd be a waste of a Dynamax. So it doesn't have Protect, I think. Or maybe it just isn't using Protect here. And this should one-shot. Because I'm unintimidated. Beep boop. Be gone. Nice. And this will knock this guy down so I can start max quaking him. Actually, there's no reason to max quake him. I should always just stay in my base form, truth be told. Yeah, no. I have 1,000 arrows here. And I can... Substitute. I get a little bit more out of this turn. Is. I do get the win there. Nice. Nice. Yeah. So, I, I... Something I should have recognized at the beginning of the game is that if I get rid of Zacian, that there's no answer for the for the Zygarde. And I, I messed up on that turn one, and I should have recognized that. I could have actually won turn one if I did that, but I completely messed up. Um, but, yeah. Good game. Good game, Gigahertz. Okay. So let's go full screen here. Um, as we see, ooh, okay. So double dragon, uh, we have Rayquaza and Curum. So neither of these guys really like Zacian, um, but it has to be noted that he does have quite a few Zacian answers. Celestila can hardwall Zacian and Landorus is pretty decent into it as well. And also Regieleki isn't that bad. So I think what I want to do here is I think I always lead off Regieleki like every single time. Yeah. Um Zygarde could be good, but only in the situation that I can get rid of that <laughs> get rid of that Kyurem. And that's the rough part cuz I also don't bring Venusaur like under any circumstances to this match. This is this is a tough one. I think he actually has my I think he has actually got my number here. He might have my number here. I really hope I don't face any Kyurem tomorrow. <laughs> That'd be a nightmare. Okay. So I'm actually pretty cool with this. I think what I want to do here is obviously I'm scared of the Clefairy. Like that is just that is just a fact here. Clefairy is terrifying. Uh, but I think I'm gonna just go for the chip damage. I think the Kira might want to protect. Not protect. I think the Kira might want to Dynamax here. And just eliminate Zacian outright. So I'm going to go for a substitute. Trying to stall a Dynamax turn.
Okay, no, I just get a free sub, which is actually busted. Unless this Clefairy is running Sing, in which case, oh my god, I lose. I'm just gonna say that right now. Um, unless the Clefairy has Sing, in which case I just lose. It could also just be Icy Winding, which would make a lot of sense here to make sure the Kyurem can outspeed. <laughs> Guys, I'm scared. It's Sing. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> okay, uh, let's Volt Switch. I can obviously Volt, volt Switch in the Kyurem here. And I can attempt to Behemoth Blade, uh, but it's going to probably get redirected. I'm going to go into my Finny. Because I want to prevent that. Yeah, no, Sing is scary. Oh my god. I mean, if I... It's not the end of the world, but it's scary, dude. Really, I only have to get rid of Kyurem. And then this game becomes a lot easier. Alright, there's the max. This man's got the tech, yes, he does. Helping hand. Um, I mean, I'm Sash on one. One would assume that if he's helping handing it, that should be going right into the Regieleki slot. And it's probably a hail... Or actually, you know what it could be? It could be a hailstorm into the Zacian to break the sub. And then the, the hail breaks my Aleki's Sash. So, yeah, that could be interesting. Go by the name of Vector. It's a mathematical term. Quantity represented by an arrow, both with direction and magnitude. Vector. Yeah, that. <laughs> Max Quake. Okay, that's fine. Critical hit. Um, yeah, I don't think the helping hand really mattered there. Okay. Here is my unfortunate play. Here is my extremely unfortunate play. I try it again. Wake up. Wake up, dang you. <laughs> Please wake up. Yes! <laughs> okay, we're good. This, this schmutty water, if I get an accuracy drop, this, this Clefairy is not going to have a great time. Come on. Get an accuracy drop on this Clefairy so it never lands another one of those. I'm going to need you to never land another one of those for the rest of your life, bro. Accuracy drop? Come on. Either one, really. No? Okay. Well, um... This is still a decent play here, because I can get health back on my Zacian if he breaks the sub. I'm going to do this. Oh, well that also could suck. Anyways, the Dynamax is over, which means that I, I'm fine with this. Yes, the Clefairy got health back. Do I care? Maybe. Actually, no, isn't it? Like, full health. Here's your Hero Pulse Clefairy. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Alright, now check out my epic gamer move. might not make sense to you guys but that's just because I'm built different that's just because I'm built different he's gonna protect and sing again I guarantee you 
No, he's not. That makes no sense. <laughs> but I want to get rid of Clefairy. Because um, as much as Kurum's annoying, I might be I might be able to deal with it in the long in the long run. And yeah, I knew the follow me would redirect the heal pulse, but I figured there's no reason not to go for it. <laughs> In case they like helping handed for some reason. Unless a blizzard comes out this turn, I'm fine with whatever happens. Okay, maybe not, um, because I legitimately did not expect that thing to switch out. Please protect. They, they didn't protect. I don't, I don't understand why they wouldn't protect there. It doesn't make sense. I'm not comprehending what just happened. Okay. So I lost my Zacian. Whatever. You know, whatever. Is this unwinnable? No. It is not. Is it likely I will lose? Yes, it is. I'm going to need this Celesteela to not be wide guard. I can take one hit. I can take one. I am a plus one special defensive Dynamax Zygarde. I can eat one. They wide guarded. Am I getting stream sniped? Maybe they're just playing super, super well, but I don't know why they would wide guard there specifically. Freeze dry. I should. Yeah, no, I eat that up like really, really well. And I can't get frozen. Are they Chopel? Okay. Or not Chopel. Babiri. Babiri. Bazinga. All right, the next one kills, so. Mist disappears from the battlefield. That's fine. I really didn't need it. At least not right now. I'm going to do it again. Okay, that one worked out. That's fine. All right. Should do a similar amount. I don't think I switch here. I think now I go for the Quake and the Electro Web. Because they can Helping Hand, but then I live it. And also I'm faster the next turn. Yeah, because I'm expecting them to Helping Hand this turn. They could follow me as well, but then I just live the hit. Yeah. And this still does quite a bit. There's the speed drop, and now I have 1,000 arrows. So I should live this barring a crit.
Okay, and that is 100% within 1,000 arrows range, so I'm no longer really scared of that. Don't freeze me. I sense the presence of many. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I most certainly sense the presence of this many. And now I just start tanking. Now I just start tanking, dude. Alright, check this out. I do this. I always do this, yeah. Because I need a little bit more chip damage so it can end up in range of Iron Tail. That's fine. Don't miss. Nice. That should be within range of Iron Tail, I think. If you miss Iron Tail, I cry. Understandable, I'd cry too. There's the Celestela. Okay. Dear Iron Tail, please land this three out of four chance to hit. Thank you. That is all. I'm going to Volt Switch on the Kyurem. I just really don't want this guy to do anything. I, I just really want to ensure that if I do land it, it's going to go down. You know? Also, I actually can heal pulse if I survive this turn. Yeah, there's the wide guard. I can definitely heal pulse if I survive here. That's That's got to be within Iron Tail range. It's 100 base power. Come on. Full health, Tapu Fini. Three out of four chance. Three out of four chance. Why is Iron Tail the same accuracy as Focus Blast? That makes no sense. Come on, baby. Focus Tail. I got to land the Focus Tail. I'm so scared. Yes! Be gone. Focus Blast is only 70. Still. Still, you know what I mean. <laughs> Moves dumb. Alright, there's the ray. I now know how I win. Oil, because he's going to wide guard again. Heal pulse. Yeah, I can win on timer now. This, this game is terrifying. This guy played so well for a minute, I thought I was getting stream sniped, but I he's clearly not. He's just playing super, super well. Ray, it's not ice move, right? There's no chance. There's no chance Ray has an ice move. And even if it does, I could live it. Dragon Ascent, I'm taking it. We're at plus two. Oh, yeah, baby. Didn't wide guard. Is he leech seed? That's fine, actually. If he's leech seed, I still win. Behold, the most terrifying Pokemon in the game. A fully set up Zygarde. Yeah, if it's leech seed, I still have a win count here because now I'm less likely to miss my move. He's going to get a lot of health back, but it, it really doesn't matter. I think I double the ray. Dragon Ascent. Nice. 
What if it's choice banned? That doesn't look banded. Nah. Probably Sash. Oh, it's Babiri. Okay, that kind of makes sense. For when it Dynamaxes, it can like easily take a, a play rough now. Alright, this should KO. I have a lot higher accuracy now. Nice. Alright, that was so scary. That was such a scary game. Leech Seed, whatever. Okay. So now, um, obviously you could wide guard. I don't know how many turns are left in the game. This has been a long game. I think it's safest just to win off a timer instead of risking my Regieleki. Obviously I can try a thousand arrows here. No, I'll just go hard and do a Leki. Give him a little bit of an ultimatum. Because he can't one-shot this thing. It's it's purely defensive, so. Yeah, and I knocked it down. That's a good amount of damage, too. If he heavy slams. Flash cannon, that's fine. Because he can't defend versus this Volt Switch, and I just win. Or Thunderbolt, even. It doesn't matter. I'm also, like, safe to switch out here. Like, I don't need to give him recovery. I'm going to go into my Finny here. And I Volt Switch. I mean, there are three minutes left. I don't need to win off a timer. I literally just have to land a Volt Switch or two. This was such a scary game. Alright, nice. Good game. That, dude, Vector... I'm going to wait a second for Vector to come back into chat so I can tell him how good he played. Where is he? Five, four, three, two, one. Vector's definitely in chat now. Vector, you played so well that for like a turn, for only a turn, I thought I might legitimately be getting stream sniped. But then I was like, no, he's literally just making every correct play. You are so freaking cracked with this team. That is crazy damage that like that thing does. You are pilot this team. In whatever tournament you go to, pilot the team. That was crazy.